An old red barn sits empty on Green Road, but people are starting to talk about its new life. Naperville News 17's Blaine Irwin has more. Music, art, history, weddings, even microbrewing? This is just a small sample of the dozens of suggestions people gave for the future of the Green Farm Barn at the open house held in June. The DuPage Forest Preserve owns the barn and the surrounding land. And Commissioner Mary Lou Worley presented these results of the open house at a recent meeting at the Woodridge Library. So we had 257 ideas. We did gain input from individuals, groups, and key stakeholders, and we did identify key issues and opportunities. The meeting then turned into a public discussion. Residents asked questions and shared ideas and concerns about the project. A popular idea was to connect future use of the barn with surrounding forest preserve land. Another idea, one that came from concerns about noise and traffic, was to keep the scope of the project smaller. But my idea is also, it's very like less is more and limiting, um, you know, because if you start small, you can kind of control things better than opening it up to a big wet wedding venue or something like this. The future of this public property seems to be in the hands of the public itself. Community interest is necessary to drive the project and to create a vision for the barn. You're, you're here because you care about your community and you have something to give to its future. And so, you know, I ran, I'm five years <laughs> into it and still trying to get, you know, interest in, in something happening here. There's a great deal of community interest out there to see something more than just a fixture on our landscape. Um, but for that to become a reality, it takes an awful lot of dedicated hands. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Blaine Irwin. The DuPage Forest Preserve has been maintaining the Green Farm Barn since 1971, but since that time, its only use has been as part of the scenery.